Um, so today, today's video, we're going to talk about scrub radius. Um, it's not necessarily a handling attribute to worry about, but it kind of controls what your car is doing in a straight line, whether it's accelerating or braking. Um, so basically, for those who might have a little issue with torque steer or um, instability when braking, um, this video might help you out. Um, I'm going to be specifically talking about front wheel drive McPherson suspension um, because I drive a DC5 and most of the people I deal with are DC5 McPherson EP3 guys. To get started, um, what is the scrub radius? So the scrub radius is um, if you take the SAI, steering axis inclination, or sometimes called the kingpin inclination, um, the SAI um, on a McPherson strut is actually started, started from the fixated nut on the top of the strut tower all the way down to the lower control arm ball joint. That's your SAI right there. Um, your scrub radius is gonna be when you look at the center line of your tire, um, the SAI will either intersect above ground or intersect below ground. If it intersects below ground, you have a positive scrub radius. If it intersects above ground, you have a negative scrub radius. So what you want in a front wheel drive McPherson is a little bit of negative scrub radius. Scrub radius sorry. You never want too much excessiveness. Um, I'd say try to keep it in below 20 millimeter. If you want to find out more about how the scrub radius actually works, I talked about it in a previous video um, called torque steer and bump steer, I think it is. Um, I'll have it uh, linked up in the cards or in the description of the video. So um, today I'm just gonna show you a way to measure your scrub radius in real time instead of just on a, a drawing on a chalkboard or a drawing on a, you know, or illustration of some sort. So I tried two methods. I tried the chalk method, I guess you could call it, and just actually measuring from center line. So with the chalk method, I actually um, learned from Evan S uh, from SHG um, that that's not a very accurate way because under load the tire is deforming and it is not going to be the same as it is when it's just unloaded and sitting at a standstill. So. If you see in my uh, my video here, um, the chalk method actually put my scrub radius as positive. So <clears throat> basically you could see that it's towards the inside of the car from the center line. It needs to be negative. So it needs to be on the outside away from the car from the center line of the tire. So. Moving on to this video, um, you'll see me do an experiment or a measurement with, with the actual center of the tire. So I marked with a green marker um, where the center of my tire was uh, when I had the wheel on the car. And then from there, I also measured how high my control arm sat off the ground and how high my... Um, my the height of the right height of my the car body set from the ground and then from there I took the wheel off and I basically just imitated those measurements so it would be like if the car was still sitting on that wheel even though I took it off and then from there I measured from the top nut all the way down to um, the lower ball joint all the way down to where that green marked line is and from there, I got five eight inches, which is around 16 millimeters. Um, this is 
an actual better result. So stock, I think the RSX measures in at 19 millimeters. Um, so I'm only three millimeters off from stock. So I'm maintaining the stock geometry of the car. And that's what I'm uh, kind of aiming for, to you know, keep it around the stock geometry and um, not mess up the geometry too much. So thanks for watching. Um, like I said, if you want to learn more about um, the scrub radius and how it um, helps the car in braking and acceleration, uh, go ahead and visit my other video and learn more about that. Right, one more thing. Make sure you guys hit like and subscribe. Um, I try to keep active on the channel. I might get a little bit inactive. I do have a track event coming up. I didn't have a camera mount for the last one, so this time I'll have some footage of the track, track event, and you guys can see how my car does in action. All right.